because I don't know anybody that has fanboyed over Shohei Otani, rightfully so, than you have. First, before we get into this amazing special from Fox Sports Films and Religion of Sports Media Company, let's talk about that love affair. At what point did you fall in love with Shohei the player and then the person? You know, it's kind of a, a long story, but to, to sum it up, I was a two-way guy in college myself and ended up going away from being a two-way guy because it was so difficult to focus on both even at the college level. And then I'm, I'm playing professionally and start having friends playing in Japan that say, you need to know the name Shohei Otani. You're going to be hearing about him soon. So I started following his career in Japan. I heard what he was doing, both pitching and hitting, became enamored with him then. And then he comes to the United States. He's doing it here. Uh, and then last year was just kind of the culmination of everything. He's healthy. He was finally able to do both and kind of on his schedule when he wanted to. And, uh, yeah, it's a little combination of a personal connection from trying to be a two-way guy myself, despite not throwing 100 or being able to hit balls 500 feet. Um, but I know how difficult it is, and I know how much is going on behind the scenes. And that's arguably more impressive to me than what he's able to do on the field. So uh, that's kind of why I just started talking about him as much as I do. And really, I just want people to appreciate and understand what we're seeing while we're seeing it instead of looking back in 50 years saying, wow, that was actually really cool. Ben, I don't even have to look at the probables on a daily basis. I always know when Shohei is pitching because I just follow you on Twitter. Tell me more <laughs> about Shohei Day. What is this and what is on your head? So I, um, this is, I got my wisdom teeth removed last year and came home and was very out of it and was not making a lot of sense and just said, hey, take a picture of me like this. I have... No idea why. It is not the most flattering picture. In fact, it is quite ridiculous. And then one day I posted it uh, when Shohei was pitching. I think I just said, like, good luck, or it's Otani day. And he threw incredible. I, I mean, I think it was the day he had, like, six perfect innings, gave up, gave up one hit in the end, punched out, like, 12 guys. And um, it just became something that I kept doing every start he's had. And this year on the mound, man, he's been incredible. So – uh, I'm very superstitious being a former baseball player myself, and uh, I don't mess with success when it's happening for anybody. I like seeing people do well, and uh, I'm not going to be the reason they're not. So I just keep on posting it. Yeah, I, I just always know when he's pitching. Thanks to you. I appreciate that. You are absolutely the president of his fan club and certainly the president of why Shohei Otani should be the MVP. Of course, the uh, opposite end of that equation.